pleasing performance and another good point. Yes, certainly uh, away from home, any, any points you can pick up on your travels is a good point. So delighted to get a point, delighted with the performance. Again, you can see the commitment from the players and the organisation. Um, I think obviously Alan being here gives the lads a little bit of a lift, sort of give first impressions of a new manager. Um, but I'd expect them to, to be like they were today. That, that's the group that we work with. And on another day, we had the best chance of the game. Um, Yannick did brilliantly, he showed his pace and power, and when he cut across the defender there, I thought that was, it was going to be a goal, and unfortunately, he took the crossbar. Um, I think if he'd scored that, I think we would have won the game. I think we would have seen the game out. Um, Julian made one great save from Hutton in the first half, but apart from that, there wasn't that many clear-cut chances in the game. Aston Villa had a lot of possession, some good movement, but a lot of it was in front of us, and, and I felt our shape nullified most of the effect today. Were the players made aware of Alan Pardew's presence before the game began? Yeah, I've kept, I've kept the lads in uh, in the know from what I knew really from the chairman. And um, before the game, when we left the hotel, we weren't sure whether Alan would be coming to the game. And then I got a message to say that he was. So I felt it was right that the lads knew. So uh, he, he had no um, input during the game or before the game. So um, he come down after to congratulate the players. He was really pleased and proud with what he'd seen. But he also said that he, we need to add more to our game to look like we're going to score more goals and, and win football matches. And, and that's right, we, we need to score more goals to stay in this division. So, um, good start. Good start for Alan to see the, the players like they were today. Um, and it's been to build on. Were those his specific words, pleased and proud? Yeah. Some, something along your lines. He was, he was pleased with the, the work of the group. He, he, he's seen us obviously play before, so he knows what we're about. Um, but also he, he feels that he can add a different dimension to what, what we're doing at the moment, which hopefully might mean one or two players coming in to, to help the group. We need that yeah. to improve us. And also maybe add something else to our, to our play. Because um, we've, we've got some exciting attacking players, um, but we're not creating enough chances at the moment. Did you say how well the team had been prepared and set up by the uh, coach manager? <laughs> <laughs> he, he did actually. He said he didn't want to steal my thunder, so he, uh, he congratulated himself for the, for the work we've done over the last couple of Have you been given any personal assurances at this stage? He said to me that he wants me to stay, he knows me anyway. Um, I think the chairman's obviously spoke to him about the staff that are already here and we all work very hard to be successful. So I think as the weeks go by, that uh, he, he analyse what we do. Um, it's, it's, we've got to learn what he wants and, um, and hopefully we can do that. And if Alan feels he needs to bring more people in, I'm sure he will because we've not got a big staff at the football club. Um, but we, we work hard and we're organised. What's the advantage position? Is it, is it just waiting for things to be rubber stamped? I think so, yeah, because I don't think he would have been at the game today. Um, if it was a problem, I'm sure he wouldn't have been sitting in the stands. So I don't know exactly what it is to hold up it, but um, we're preparing for Alan coming tomorrow to start working. We've got a big game now on Sunday against Dover. So we've got to try and get over around that one. So you're, you're saying that uh, you wouldn't have been at the game otherwise. We wondered whether you were sort of half suggesting or admitting that nobody would go and watch Crystal Palace unless they were about to become that. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, not nobody would choose, choose to go. No, and watch no, no, definitely not. No, um, no. I think we're we, we're an exciting team. And we're a counter-attacking team, certainly away from home, and we've got some good flair players that on their day um, can excite people and, and score good goals. And um, today we're just probably lacking that little bit of luck. Things aren't quite going for us in front of the goal, but you've got to create more chances to, to get your luck. And, um, and that's something that we, we know and we've got to work on.
Keith, do you know which other staff are staying on? Are uh, Kevin Black, <coughs> etc., are they staying on? I don't know. I, I don't know. Okay. We've not had enough discussions. Um, I've had a couple of minutes with him, with Alan this morning. Um, and literally after the game, he come down and just shook everyone's hand and said, well done. Um, and that's as far as I know. But he's he asking you to be his number two at the moment. He's that? asked me to stay on and work with him. Yeah. That was his exact words. Okay. So I, I don't know in, in what capacity. Yeah. I think he knows me and he knows what I can do. Um, but he's a manager now and he has his way of working. So we, we've got to, to learn very quickly, like we have done when previous managers have come in. You obviously know him very well. What would, do you think he will bring to the club? I think he'd bring a, a passion. Uh, he's got a passion about his work and, and football. And I think that the fans will respond to that at Sellers Park. He's definitely got the knowledge of the Premier League and what's needed to win football matches. And I felt certainly Tony brought that to us as well. Um, so, and also I think he, you look at his Newcastle team and they, they've got the flair in the team and uh, he's got some exciting players there. So I'm sure you want to maybe make us a little bit more attractive and exciting, but also remember and, and keep what we're good at. And we're a hard working, organised team. And if you can add a little bit more guile and flair to what we've already got, then it will be, be fine this season. He hasn't spoken to you about transfers or anything like that at the minute, not <coughs> No, no, I'm sure he, he would have had a conversation with the chairman because it, it, we all know we need to bring in some more players to, uh, to help what we've got here. So, but that's been ongoing for, for a couple of months now. We've been looking to strengthen what we've got. He's quite okay. motivated to, to get it sorted quickly. Though. You, yeah, we, we want to, yeah, because obviously we've got, we lost Mele, Jed Nett, and he went away with Australia, and I thought Joel Ward stepped in there today and did a great job for us. Um, and Yannick Balassi will go away to the African nations, we're not sure when yet. So again, we're going to miss him. So the quicker we can get players in to, to help this, this group, then obviously the better.